everyone, Chris with Coalition Gaming here and stream overlays are something that people are always searching for, always uh, looking for tutorials on how to do that. I've done one before, but now we're gonna do one with my chosen service, my favorite service that I like to do them with, Stream Elements. All right, so Stream Elements has made things incredibly easy as far as getting overlays set up, having pre-done overlays for you to choose from, and uh, just in general, making the process of getting an overlays and alert set up all pretty much uh, handled. It all goes through browser sources. It's all relatively easy to set up. So let's go on over to the computer real quick and we'll run through it. So here we are at the desktop. We're at the Stream Elements website, streamelements.com. Very simple. When you're on this screen here, you want to click the button connect with Twitch, or if you do YouTube, you can connect with YouTube. So we're gonna connect with Twitch. Let's do that. Load it up. It's already connected with mine, but in case for you guys, you're gonna want to uh, just log into it, basically authorize it and you'll see this stuff here so you have your dashboard you have all this cool stuff but let's just get into the nitty-gritty about the overlays that's what we're here for so you can go to the themes gallery on the left and that themes gallery is going to show you a bunch of stuff real quick note i want to make a quick note here is that uh, if you're using a two pc setup with obs ndi and that setup is going from the gaming pc to another pc that way uh, a lot of people might say just use Streamlabs OBS because Streamlabs OBS has all this stuff already built into it. You can't really do that if you're using an NDI setup because Streamlabs OBS cannot send an NDI signal. It can only receive it. So the streaming PC can have that and you can set everything up there. But if you want the most control possible, you set it up on the gaming PC as if you were streaming with one computer. And then just offload it to the second one for that one to just do the encoding. And uh, so if you do that, you need OBS Studio with the NDI plugin to do that. And thus you need to get into overlays like this. So back to the overlays. So you see all these themes here, super themes. Super themes tend to have uh, all sorts of things covering you there. So let's check out Doomhammer. There's a static and an animated. Just an FYI, these animated themes will take up CPU percentage. They need to run and like render in a browser in the background and that uses CPU power. So you wanna use static ones to save CPU usage, but if you have a, a core or it's just something beefy, then uh, you can get away with these animated ones. So look, having a look at this Doomhammer one, it's got already preset stuff for your camera box. You've got, uh, you can put your name there at the top. It shows stream elements, cause that's what it is. It's gonna show like donators, followers, all that stuff, little alerts already built into it as well. Then there's different ones. You have like a talking screen if you wanted to do that. This would be your gaming screen. You go here, it's a starting soon screen with the countdown on there, it shows your chat. You can interact with everyone, it has more information down at the bottom. Uh, be right back screen, everybody needs a BRB screen. And then like a stream ended. And you can see it's moving there. It looks really nice, but it is CPU intensive. A lot of these animated themes do have a static one though. A static variant and then there's your static variant you know very similar obviously but none of the stuff glows or moves but if you wanted to do that and uh, still have some CPU power to to spare then there you go so let's check out this one gray super theme so gray it seems to be pretty uh, let's say simple and straightforward so we're gonna go with the gray super theme it's static these ones have entire like a uh, uh, pack so like I said, you have your main screen, BRB screens and all that, and then it will have the URLs to all of those. However, if you just want to look at regular themes, you can have them here. So we actually use this one, Poly Grunge Talk Overlay. And, uh, oh, this one's cool. I haven't seen this one before. Make it look like you're in a little recording booth. <laughs> that's actually pretty cool. And, uh, or rather, I mean, that's just an example here, but you have your cam box and all that. So you can go, onesies twosies pick the stuff out like that and that works too but super themes make things nice and simple so let's go ahead we're gonna i'm gonna hit create my overlay on that super theme and uh you can name it you can call it i'm gonna call it stream elements uh tutorial create my overlay and see here are all your links now to get started we're just gonna do the main scene and the talking scene 
maybe, maybe even the uh, the countdown scene. Let's do the countdown scene. So let's see, what's this one? You can click that link right there, copy to clipboard, and then you have your OBS, and so you have your scenes over here, and with your scenes like that, uh, let's see, let's minimize that right now. So you have your scenes. So the main scene, boom, browser browser source. So add a browser source. We're gonna call that main scene. And then you paste that URL that we copied from Stream Elements right there. And it's likely 1920 by 1080, so make sure you uh, match that to the base canvas of your OBS. And uh, it takes a second to load, but boom, there you go. And uh, da, 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 let's see here. I don't think I can actually capture the, the webcam right now because of how I'm capturing. Uh, da, da. Yeah, that's not going to work right now. So moving on, there's that scene. Obviously, this is the box where you're going to stick your webcam. Scene two, bring up stream elements. Let's see what's uh, the, the talk one. So put your browser source. See, uh, we're going to call this talk screen. Paste the URL there, 1920 by 1080. And here it comes, boom. Obviously your webcam's gonna be here, your chat's gonna be here. You can put all your socials down here and it has like alerts and stuff in here. And in case you haven't noticed, I'm using something called obs.live and that's why you can see your feed, my feed on the left with chat box on the right. And we have another video on that. If you guys wanna check out what obs.live is, make sure you click on it right up here. So uh, next scene, bring up stream elements. Let's see, start stream. Yep, the start stream one. That's the countdown. Countdown's nice and has a little bit of hype to your guys' stream. So we're gonna do countdown scene and paste in the URL, URL there, 1920 by 1080. And here we go again, boom, stream starting in 10 minutes. Again, socials right here, alerts and followers and things like that over here. And there you go. Each of these scenes, you can just go in and configure. So let's get back to the configuration. So at Stream Elements, it, on the website, if you go into My Overlays, you see here, Gray Area Super Theme, and you have all these. And the ones that I use, let's see the, the main one. Let's go to the main one here. That main one there, let's see, you have all this that you're seeing. And you can zoom it out. This is where you're editing that overlay now. That's pretty nifty. You're editing your overlay. You can even lay a grid or well, snapping, sorry, the snapping will have it moving. Oh, look, this one, if you don't like a widescreen cam box, you can switch over to the 4.3, so square, so it takes up less of the screen that you have there. But everything is here. So let's say you wanted to emulate a cheer event. You emulate that, look at that. Yes, yes, really nice, really nice. So you can emulate all those, do testing, and you have all your layers available here, cam box, alert box. In the alert box, you can go and check all these alerts, a follower alert, subscriber alert, tip alert. It's all there and you can configure them. Go hit the little cog, go here, you can change the sound, you can upload your own sound. So let's say, uh, what is that? This is the follower alert. I'm gonna change the sound of the follower alert. I've already uploaded some of my own, but you just click upload. You can drag and drop, you can select a file, you go to your music or whatever, you have your file selected, drop it in there. And it supports .wave, .ogg, .webm, .mp3, you know, a bunch of stuff. So I'm going to go to my sounds, and I'm just going to pick one. Uh, let's see, what's a good follower alert? I got a lot, of, okay, here, this is a good one. The Inception sound, or everybody knows, like it. <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure if you guys heard that, but you guys know it. So you would click submit on that once you have it uploaded and then save. And then now if we want to uh, want to test how that would sound, that's how you know you got a new follower. You'll know if you have a tone like that. So everything editable and accessible within the layers, anything you want to change, click that layer look for any cogs or any changes you have in there let's see you see down here where it says twitter youtube facebook you can even just go down and click it it should pop up the layer and then over here i want to change it coalition gaming crew on uh what is that instagram right and then you can just grab the stuff rearrange it however you want like see now i'm having an issue with snapping i'm gonna turn snapping off and now i have i can just free float grab what i want 
move it there there you go look at that so anything can be moved around freely however you want in here then you save it so there you go there's that overlay and if you wanted to edit your other overlays you just go into the overlays and this one so you have a countdown in this one for example that countdown you can just click it walk go over here and you see 10 minutes zero seconds you can you want a five minute countdown change it to a five minute countdown you want a 15 minute countdown change it to a 15 minute countdown everything inside these overlays is configurable just look through the layers look for what you want to configure or click clicking isn't as accurate unfortunately but uh but you know it, it's one way to do it you can just look at the layers go through there look you can even configure messages fade after 30 seconds or show messages permanently you can change the theme within there white chat checker chat dark chat look there's checker there's white chat and it changes over here so we're going to go back out to here and that is your overlay setup guide a um, little bit more here inside of obs you might want to name your, your scenes to something that you will recognize a little bit more. But that is the gist of it. That's how you get your sources in here. That's how you get something professional looking inside of your OBS studio while uh, streaming and having that set up ready to go. But something really, really important I want to tell you guys is inside of each one. Because right now, uh, you're using up more CPU percentage. All these are running. That's why you see them seamlessly uh seamlessly uh, uh loading as i move through the sources here's the thing if you have a lot of these especially like if you ha do a test alert and it, it it will echo through every active source in your scenes so for every browser source and every webcam source and anything like that you want to go through double check it go to go to this spot where it says shut down source when not visible check that box check that box we were at 2.3 percent cpu usage i'm going to go through these sources shut down source when not available go through this one shut down source when not available and let that settle down for a second we went back down to 2.3 it should drop lower 2.0 and 1.7 so the fact that these are no longer running uh when you're not in the scene that you need to be is going to save cpu percentage it's going to help in, uh, maintain performance in your games while streaming the only downside to that is your scene is essentially refreshing every time you load it. So you have a slight little delay here. You see this? And then it's got to load. It's going to snap in. There you are. We're going to go here. It's going to snap in. And there you go. But there is a little bit of way around that. If you just switch your OBS over to studio mode and you have your scene, your next scene ready to go. See, you have the scene on the right is the scene that you're on and then the scene on the left is the scene that you want to switch to so if you know that you're going to change scenes that way have it preloaded there and then you just click the transition button and boom now it's over here and there was no delay in that next thing you over here you select the next scene you want to go to then you click transition no delay as you saw in obs it just went so it's sort of cheating in a way but uh but it works because that's what obs studio lets you do and that's the basics, just running you guys through the stream elements overlay tutorial stuff. <laughs> stream elements, everyone. Uh, they're great. The service that they offer is great. Everything is so easy running through stream elements. I will have all links in the description below. And uh, make sure you check out the Discord. Well, they are super helpful people. So uh, let's get back to the main camera. So that's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you found it helpful, hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe, we always have more coming. And uh, links in the description for all our social media, our Discord, if you wanna talk about this stuff, if you want any information on it, well, uh, feel free to hit us up on there. We'll see you all in the next video, bye.